So, you have a TV show for me. Yes, sir, I do. It's called Strange Things. Strange Things? Yeah, Strange Things. You don't like it? Well, it just doesn't feel that exciting. It feels like we should up the ante a little bit. Like a title that's a little more intense? Yeah, a title that makes these things seem a little stranger. Okay, how about... Very strange things. No, stranger than that. You're saying the things should sound stranger? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so so what if we call it, uh... Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah? No, I got nothing. That's okay, we'll circle back to that. Yeah, that's a tough one. We'll figure it out. So what's the show about? Well, let me ask you something. Do you remember all the best pop culture stuff that came out of the 80s? Huh, now that you mention it, I do remember those things. It feels kind of nostalgic. Right? Now, here's the thing. I also remember those things, and I also feel nostalgic. Oh, you do? Yeah, so what I'm thinking is... You know, that. Let's let's do that. I'm not sure I get it. Just just a whole bunch of 80s nostalgia in, in a show. Is there a story? Does it really matter? Kind of. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So it takes place in Hawkins, Indiana, a town where people can't take a punch without losing consciousness. Okay. And there's this place called the Upside Down that's causing all these strange things. What's this place like? Well, it's super creepy and dark and there's snowy stuff floating around. Oh, so the Upside Down is, 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 is Canada. No, it's not Canada. This place is covered in weird slimy goo. Actually, interesting fact about Canada, a lot of it is actually covered in goo. That sounds like something you just made up. That's right, sometimes I just lie confidently. Anyway, so this place is a parallel dimension that's home to some pretty messed up monsters called Demogorgons. Ooh, sounds scary. What do they look like? Kind of like a xenomorph, but if instead of a scary face it had like Patrick from Spongebob. I love it. Yeah, and these things are attracted to blood and in the first episode, one of them is gonna take a kid named Will. Was he bleeding? No, he wasn't. Oh, and there's also this little girl named Eleven who has weird abilities and she escaped from Hawkins' lab. And what's she like? Oh, she's super adorable. Aw, fun. Yeah, she's real cute and also she you know, snaps people's arms with her mind and makes them pee all over themselves and pops their brains inside their heads so hard that blood pours out their eye sockets. That is adorable. Yeah, and she gets nosebleeds when she uses her brain too hard. Oh, same Z. So anyway, the secret government people that control the lab want to track her down. Uh-oh. Yeah, and they kill this dude and make it look like suicide in the first episode just because he interacted with her. Wow, they're not messing around. Not in the first episode, they're not. After that, they're gonna get pretty lenient. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like this cop named Hopper breaks into their lab and assaults a bunch of people and they're barely gonna do anything about it. It sounds like they should take him out and stage it as a suicide. Yeah, sounds like. Or arrest him for one of his multiple crimes to keep him quiet. Or that but they're not going to. Interesting choice. So anyway, Eleven meets some kids her age and they're trying to find their friend, Will. Okay. And her and this kid, Mike, have a thing because I guess he's really into powerful women. Oh, I get it. Popping people's brains inside their heads is tight. Oh yeah. So then pretty much everyone's gonna spend the season trying to find Will. Was he the only one that was taken? No, we're gonna have this girl, Barb, get taken too. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's gonna get violently pulled into the upside down through a swimming pool and killed and mummified and slugs are gonna come out of her mouth and it's gonna be awful. Holy crap, what did she do to deserve that? Nothing, I guess. Don't you have an ex-girlfriend named Barb? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, so I guess it's gonna be hard for all the characters when they find out that Will is dead. Oh no, he's not gonna die. He's not? Nah. How come this thing killed Barb but not Will? I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah. Hey, so actually, quick thing. I'm gonna need you to find a way to, um... You know, make Egos a cultural phenomenon for me. What? It's just that I promised the people at Egos that we'd turn them into a cultural phenomenon or whatever. Why would you promise that? Well, actually, I believe that Egos represents important North American values that should be properly reflected in- Ah, uh, look at your face. No, it's because they gave me a shipping container filled with cash and waffles. Right, that makes more sense. And a barrel of maple syrup so big I almost drowned in it. That's a pretty big brand deal. So can you do it? Yeah, actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'll just have 11 be super obsessed with Egos. Oh, the girl that pops people's brains inside their heads. That's the one. Fantastic. Plus, we can use some of that Ego cash to make season two. Oh, you have a season two planned. I do. What happens in that one? Uh, a lot of the same stuff, but a little different. Changing it up a bit? That's smart. Yeah, like instead of going into the Upside Down, Will is gonna get possessed by something that lives in the Upside Down. That kid's having a horrible childhood. Oh yeah, the worst. Wow. And instead of a normal-sized monster, we're gonna have a really big one and a bunch of little ones. I guess that's different. And instead of a character 
character named Barb dying a violent death, a character named Bob is gonna die a violent death. Isn't Bob the name of your ex-girlfriend's fiance? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Okay, we're also gonna introduce a girl named Max and her brother Billy. What are they gonna do? Not much. Huh. And we're gonna have this thing where in season one, Will's mom fills her house with lights, but in season two, she fills it with papers. Pretty similar concept, though. Actually, no, because papers are different from lights. Right, but still redecorating the house in a crazy way. Well, if you want something really different, wait till season two, episode seven. Oh, what happens in that one? Eleven's gonna go on a little road trip to Chicago to find herself. And people are gonna enjoy that? Oh yeah, people are gonna love that. Hey guys, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch. Check out the channel for a lot more pitch meetings. And let me know in the comment section what other movies or shows I should do pitches for. Be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And check back soon for a new pitch. Bye bye